and get your phones out right now. We want to hear from you at KCEN.com slash vote or on the Channel 6 mobile app. Do you think a school should drug test student drivers? Is it too much? Not enough? We want you to vote now, but first, in less than an hour, the Midway ISD School Board will vote on whether to expand its student drug testing program. The proposed policy would include all student drivers to be subject to random drug testing. Curtis Quillen joins us live from the district's administration building. Curtis, is this a punitive or preventative measure? Well, Doug, District Spokeswoman Tracy Marlin tells us this measure is purely preventative and the district is trying to take this opportunity to further safety measures with the school safety issue at the forefront of many people's minds. They want to be proactive in preventing issues before they become issues. Marlin says there is no known drug or parking problems in the school district. Furthermore, students who are caught in the program would undergo counseling at that point rather than a punishment. She says at the end of the day, this is about being able to help students within the district. People worry about things like active shooters and mental health. This is a way for us to look for red flags for students that are self-medicating with drugs or abusing drugs and make sure they're getting the help they need. Prove this new policy would add 300 students roughly to the drug testing pool in Midway ISD. Now this meeting gets underway right behind me at about 7 o'clock tonight. We will let you know the result of the vote as soon as it happens on the air and online at KCENTV.com. For now, live in Woodway, Curtis Quillen, Channel 6 News. Guys. All right, Curtis, thank you very much. Be sure to keep voting. If you think this new drug testing policy is a good idea or not, we'll have the results coming up later in the show.